Welcome back, Storm fans. I am Brent Cook. This is my second league of the day, and tonight we are playing Calibrated Blast from Modern Horizons 2. If you're an old person like I am, you probably remember Erratic Explosion from Onslaught. This is a newfangled version of that card with flashback. The idea is that you pay two and a red, and this one's an instant, not a sorcery. Reveal cards from the top of your library until you reveal a non-land card. Deal damage equal to that spell's converted mana value. The rest go on the bottom in some random order, whatever. And then, you know, you could flash it back and deal some more damage. So we're looking to reveal Cyan of Draco, Emberquil the Aeon's Torn, Shadow of Mortality, or even a Tocton Worm. The downside is there is the possibility of revealing Throws of Chaos. That said, the upside of Throws is double calibrated blast off very few mana, so it's worth it. Because of that, our deck is mostly lands, and our sideboard is 100% lands, so we're playing a lot of utility lands here, and really just looking to casts calibrated blast so the idea is that you want to mulligan aggressively because our deck is you know 38 lands so you can afford to just mulligan to three lands calibrated blast that sort of thing i've never played this deck before it's going to be a new experience and i'm looking forward to it uh, that's what i've got i hope you enjoyed the league if you have any questions comments suggestions whatever you know what to do put those in the comment section down below i would greatly appreciate that all right, I'm going to hop on into the first round. I hope to see you there. And honestly, I feel like this is a deck we can speed run. Let's see if we can get, I mean, my record on this channel, I believe is 41 minutes. Let's see if we can do better than that. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. You can also show your support by becoming a member of this channel. You get sweet perks such as badges, emotes, exclusive members only content, and access to our members discord section. As you increase the tiers, there are other rewards such as shop discounts, cyborg guides, early access to videos, and even free donation decks. Click the join button down below to find out more. We also have other ways you can support us such as theepicsroom.com shop or submitting a donation deck via the epicstorm.com slash donation decks. That's enough for now. Let's play some magic. Welcome to the first round. We are on the play. Calibrated blasting people. Nope. Mulligan. And we have a blast. We can bottom the Emrakul here. This is a turn two blast. Oh no, we're on the play. It's a turn three blast. That's a little disappointing. All right, bottom this Emrakul. Let's play the headquarters here. Pass the turn. Misty Rainforest. And they pass. Arid Mesa. Pass the turn. They do not fetch with the Misty. Overgrown Tomb down to 17. Vernon Catacombs. Please be a run in six. Please be a run in six. All right. So they are on the... Um, Yogmoth deck. That means that our calibrated blast will resolve. Grab the stomping ground, I guess. So ideally, this blast would kill them here. So we're gonna play the desert, heal them one, and then blast. Target them. Easy peasy. Look at that. Just like we drew it up. The downside here is Necromentia is a card that deck plays. We can definitely get rid of the Besajus here. Uh, we probably want the Nephalia Academies versus Thoughtseize. 62 cards at the moment. I don't know what else to board out. I'm going to take out the Headquarters and the Rafine's Tower, I guess. Sure, let's try this. No, we cannot keep. It might have been wrong to board out the Tri-Lands. I didn't think of this until after I hit Submit, but I don't think I can actually use... Um, what is it called? Ottawara effectively without those. So we're going to mulligan to five here. To four. Okay, keep. Bottom, bottom. Bottom. Four cards. We are facing Stan. Huge Eminem fan. 
All right, nurturing peatland, young wolf. You've got it. Draw for turn. Play blood crypt. Pass the turn. The birds of paradise. They get in for one. No second land. Love to see that. Play the scorched desert. Yield them one. Auto yield. Pass the turn. They're going to attack with the wolf. Wolf all the 18 life. Thought seize. They get my calibrated blast here. It does have flashback, but I can't cast it. Well, I can eventually, but we're still pretty far away. Cost five? Yeah. All right, pass the turn. They have an Essence Warden, warden I should say. Ooh, the ooze here is backbreaking. It's going to be able to remove my Calibrated Blast. So we're really looking to draw another Blast then, because this ooze is going to exile it. Draw. It's a bummer. Pass the turn. They swing for one. Decide not to attack with the Scavenging Ooze, oddly enough. I grab a black source. Three mana. Necromentia. I'm going to scoop to that. We can head over to the next game. Am I supposed to just feel like board out Atawaras? I don't know. Maybe one Atawara and board in one try land? Let's try this on the play. Game number three. Cannot keep. Mulligan. Nope. Going to five. Yes, we'll keep this. I think maybe I keep the Scion. Play the Academy. Pass the turn. So what the Academy does is it means that with Thoughtseize, I can always just choose to put the Blast back on top. And here they have a turn one bird, which could mean a turn two Necromancial. It's pretty terrifying. All right, play the Bloodstained Mire. We'll pass the turn. Uh-oh. All right, they don't have turn two Necromancia. Young Wolf. And they're passing. Fetch. Grab the Rafine's Tower. Untap Draw. So anyway, and then I started blasting. I guess it's an instant. I don't need to do this now. Get them. What did I reveal? A Scion. So they're at seven. Three mana. Four mana. There's a Yawgmoth. And they attack for two. I'm going to fall to 17. Come on, another blast. Nope. So this costs four. Play the Besaju. And let's play the dragon. Okay. Another young wolf. Port of Calling, I believe I just lost. Yep. And that's going to do it. I'm not going to make them click a million times. I'll just pick it up here. We lost. What a bummer. No Necromentia in game number three. We just didn't have it. Sometimes that happens. Round two coming up. Moxfield.com is the easiest way to build a Magic deck online. They support over 30 formats, including Legacy and many other Eternal formats. There are so many options to view decks the way that you want, from text view to individual cards, mana value, and even card price. There's also light mode and dark mode. My personal favorite feature is card tags. This way you can sort cards by function. Moxfield supports collection tracking, scryfall search, deckless feedback, and so much more. Follow me on Moxfield.com so you can stay updated on all of my decks.
game number two we are going to keep we already have the calibrated blast we have some backup plans here it's beautiful Burgrin Triome, sure thing. Play the headquarters, pass. So this one is banned. So if we fetch for the Rakdos land, we should be able to play a turn two Scion. Fetch, Blood Crypt, ouch. Two mana, four, four. Pass the turn. Okay. Let's attack with the Scion. Hiya. So they bounce my Scion. Let's fetch. Grab the mountain. And then blast them. They're at five. We revealed shadow. Okay. Pass the turn. We are at 15. They play a faithful mending up to seven. I think I messed up. I, should, I was supposed to get another blood crypt with this so I could play shadow. Stoneforge mystic. Okay. Yeah, I definitely messed this up. We grab batter skull we draw for the turn another blast who am i the, the answer is very very lucky gotcha okay so we probably want these besages i don't know how i feel about the other cards maybe board out a couple deserts let's try this Game number two, we've hit the Throws of Chaos, which does get the Calibrated Blast. I'm going to Mulligan. Better. Much better. Uh, get rid of the Ruins. And then we can play this Gemstone Caverns, Exiling an Arid Mesa. Turn one celestial colonnade. We'll take a draw step. Shadow. Hallowed fountain, and they're just going to pass the turn. We will fetch. Okay, so I think I made a mistake round number one boarding these out. I think they're actually pretty huge for our deck. Played the Ottawara, pass the turn. They play a sacred foundry. Untap, take a draw. Besage you right on time. Pass. Land number four. That's the Stone Forge. They have the Batter Skull. Draw for turn. Emrakul. Going to pass. And they're passing back. Ouch, I will lose two life. Calibrated Blast. Cannot be countered. Save targets at you. Deals four. So we need to untap and try again. That's one of the downsides of playing the retrace card. Untap. Ouch. Flash it back. Do we deal lethal? That one deals 15. Just like that. Speed running magic. One and one. 
Looking to make playing your favorite combo deck much easier? Look no further than the Epic Storm Mini Token Combo Pack, which is available at theepicstorm.com slash shop for $14.99. This combo token pack comes with 84 double-sided tokens. That includes our classic Storm and Mana tokens as well as fan favorites such as Goblins, Squirrels, and Slime Time Live. But that's not all. We've expanded this token pack to cover a variety of formats with new tokens. Stop on by the epicstorm.com slash shop and make an easy decision to elevate your combo game. Round number three, we are on the play. Uh, uh, I guess we keep this, but triple gemstone caverns is so awkward. Okay, we're going to play the Rafine's Tower. Pass the turn. Basic planes. The guard is eight, so they're on hammer. Draw for turn. This was a good draw. They play a nurse's saga. They attack with the bird. Technically, it's a thopter. Whatever. No blocks. Fetch. Grab a blood crypt. And tab, take a draw. Oseju. There's the saga goes up to two counters now. They do not attack with the Thopter. Fetch. Grab the mountain, I guess. Calibrated blast. Deal the targets at them. They'll gladly take 15 damage. We might as well play the Besaju here. So many Besaju's in this deck. They create a construct. They can actually go get like a Soul Guide Lantern here to remove my Calibrated Blast. I did not consider that. That's actually really awkward. Ooh, they get the hammer. Okay. Good sign for me. Throw out a fire ice. Okay. Destroy the hammer, I guess. Oh, this isn't tap for green. Oh, no. Am I dead? I am dead. I just misplayed so badly. Stupid Rafine's Tower. Wow. I mean, it's really me that's stupid here. Oh, jeez. I could have swore I was holding open Besaju. That's really disappointing. Okay, so we want four copies of Besaju Who Endures. Um, take out a couple caverns on the play. And let's bring in Radiant Fountains. That's just embarrassing. I played like garbage. You could bring uh, your board out beside you who shelters all, but sometimes Hammer Time plays Spell Pierce, so I want to leave those in. I can't believe that. I just didn't bother reading my lands. I thought for sure I had one in play that tap for green. Oh my. Game number two. Okay. I'm just going to fetch and be lazy here. Spars headquarters past the turn. Planes into aid. Yep. Besage you. Grab the Rafine's tower. Well, now I know that I have a lane that taps for green. There's a saga. Stoneforge Mystic. You've got it. Colossus hammer in hand. Draw. We will pass the turn. Another saga. No blocks. How do I want to handle this? Because they're still at 20. I cannot kill them with a calibrated blast. But the issue here... Okay. 
is they have another hammer next turn. I don't think it's possible for me to win. Kill the Colossus hammer. They have third hammer. Wow. All right. I was outskilled. Jeez Louise. One and two. That was just devastating. You got me. Can't be upset about that. Your opponent just, you know, they high rolled you. It happens. If you're still watching, make sure to give this video a like, comment, and subscribe. While you're near the description, here's a reminder to use our affiliate links if you're going to make a purchase from Amazon, Card Hoarder, or TCG Player. Just above those affiliate links, you'll find our social channels. Make sure to join those to connect with us. Round number four, we are on the play. Let's see if I can get another win. I feel like we've been a little bit unfortunate paired with me being an idiot, but we'll see. We have the calibrated blast we will keep. All right. Play the scalding turn, pass the turn. I'm going to get Spara's headquarters because it's the Bantland. We can pair that with my blood crypt and have access to all five colors. Okay. Spar's headquarters. Draw for turn. Scion. Perfect. Oh no. I don't think I have another blood crypt. I I'm so bad at this game. Oh jeez. This happens to me all the time where in my head I come up with the line that I want to take for my turn. I see the card that I draw, I'm like, ooh, this is great, and then I continue with the line that I thought. Uh, it's a terrible, terrible thing. Here, I should have gone Blood Crypt into Scion, and now I'm just playing this game a turn behind. Okay, our opponent also has access to all five colors here. They play a Ren and Six. I guess they have access to four colors, not five. Okay, I'm going to take this opportunity to just blast them, I think. We only dealt them three, unfortunately. They play a Bloodstained Mire. They grab Mountain. That's a Fable. Draw for turn. Besage you. That one is a huge draw because it's going to mean that this flashback uh, Calibrated Blast will be uncounterable. We have the Scion of Drago on the battlefield. The Discard Archon of Cruelty. Dwarven Mine, you've got it. There's the Creativity, they hit the Archon. We have to sacrifice our Scion. Discard a card, and now they go up to 16 life, which means they're out of reach of my Blast killing them too. I think we lost this game because of my turn two misplay. That's devastating. Yeah. And they have lethal on board. Oh my, did I just rip the perfect card? No, it's not because I don't have another red source here. I have to play the Blood Crypt. This is red, red to flash back. No. We're dead. I mean, I, I could like flashback to kill the Archon, but that's terrible. Turn off my auto yield, I guess. This deck is somewhat easy to play and I'm just making it look difficult with how poorly I'm playing. So it's going to deal 15, but unfortunately that's not lethal, so I have to kill the Archon. I just played this game so poorly. They attack with the uh, Fable token. We will drop to 4 life. Prismari command, sure. And another command. Yep, I lost this game because I played terribly. No excuse. Bring in two more Besages. 
think we want the bazooka bogs for persist. We're on the place. We can board out the gemstone caverns. I'm going to take out one run of map ruins. Hit submit and hopefully uh, play a little bit better. All right. Game number two. We have a blast. We have double blast. I guess we'll keep. A little disappointed in my play so far. Played the Besage you past the turn. Wooded foothills, and they just pass. Play Blood Crypt past the turn. Ketria Triome. Steam Vents, they're at 17. And they're just going to pass. Ooh. Placing my Blood Crypt. Okay, I see you. Play the Besage you past the turn. All right. Draw. Uh, another Emrakul. That's a little bit of a bummer. Dwarven Mine. All right, so we'll take two off the Besage you. Play a Calibrated Blast. Aether Gust. We'll put that back on top. Draw. Blast again. Oh, we revealed another blast. Uh, that's what lost me the first game. Pass the turn. They're at 14. They attack with the dwarf. No Archon yet. Draw. You have another Ice? They do, but we'll uh, take some damage. Cast another Calibrated Blast. It dealt another three damage. Come on. Oh. Yeah. The worst. And our deck's 38 lands, and I'm, I'm missing land drops. They play a Blood Crypt. They have six in hand. Draw for turn. That doesn't help me. What does this thing cost? Eight. I have to pass the turn. I might die to this dwarf token. I go to 11. I have another land. They're passing. Run a map ruin. So I could take three life and try to throw as of chaos. But I have to imagine our opponent has counter spells in hand. I don't know. Oh, no, I, I guess I don't lose any life from the run of map ruins. Let's attempt of uh, two throws of chaos. The upside of this is I believe it guarantees that I draw a land next turn. Okay, I'm at nine. They're also at nine. Are they going to hard cast an Archon here? That is the play. I will discard Besage you. I believe I'm guaranteed to untap and draw a land because of we revealed the first two calibrated blasts. Draw for turn. So if I calibrated blast here, or if I throws of chaos here, it means that the cheapest card on my deck is at least 12. So I believe that's the right move. Throws of Chaos. All right, we'll cast this. All right, that game was painful. We want the Gemstone Caverns now that we're on the draw. We're just going to take out these random map ruins. They feel impossible. Maybe I split them with this, actually. 
with 62. Let's try this, I guess. Game number three, we're on the draw. Hell yeah. Keep. This uh, game or this match is really ruining my speedrun time. Leyline of the Void. I mean, that's annoying, but we can still beat it. Draw for turn. Speaking of ways to beat Leyline of the Void. Dwarven Mine and their Passing. I'm going to fetch. I want to get a try land here. Let's get the Sparrow's Headquarters for the Besaju, I guess. Draw. Another Gemstone Caverns. Pass the turn. Okay, so it looks like they're missing land drops. I don't want to do either of these things if they're just going to hold all of this open. Okay, so... I'm going to play Besaju. Because it allows me to play the Scion. Can't spell Pierce this. They tap it with a Fire Ice. They find land number three, but it's another Dwarven Mine. And there's the Besaju. So let's get in there. This is going to knock them to 15, which is a huge number. Because that means that the Calibrated Blast has the potential to win the game. Get in there. Pass the turn. Okay, so they're going to kill my Scion. I'm going to try to kill them here by casting the Calibrated Blast. Oh, I'm going to put them to three. It's just not good enough. So my Scion's going to die, and I have nothing in hand. Yep. Draw for turn. Hmm. We just have to pass here. Ren in six. They can pick up a Wooded Foothills now. Yeah. Draw for turn. Scalding Tarn. Not a whole lot I can do. So they Prismari Command here to draw two, discard two, and create a treasure token. I wonder if I should start lowering my life total for the Shadow of Mortality. Uh, that's not a good sign. Or the Emrakul, I guess. I really need to rip another Calibrated Blast here. Let's fetch. Grab the Rafine's Tower. Come on, deck, please. No dice. No point in even playing the Shadow Mortality now that they have the Archon. Discard Gemstone, I guess. They're up to nine. And I'm about to go to five, so if I don't draw it here, I am dead. Is this a creativity for three? If it is, I'm dead. Or a creativity for two will also work. Yeah, they did it. I am dead. Wow. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Let's see if the draw step would have gotten it. Nope. Bummer. All right, we are one in three. With Card Hoarder, renting your favorite combo deck has never been easier. There isn't a more affordable solution for Magic Online. Want to play the deck in this video? Check out the pink comment below to easily rent the deck from Card Hoarder. Did you know you can rent the Epic Storm from Card Hoarder for as little as seven tickets a week? We've made it simple to do so by including a button to rent the entire deck at theepicstorm.com slash decklist. The fifth and final round, we cannot keep this. Take a mulligan. Here we have a blast. I think we try this. Bottom the Atokton Worm. 
So we are one in three, but I feel like last round was lost because of my inability to play correctly. We had another game where I misplayed, so it's tough because I think our record should at least be two and two if uh, I knew how to play magic. We're drawing Emrakul, pass the turn. Fire Bluff Canal. Bloodstained Mire, pass the turn. They play Steam Vents. We need them to tap some mana. Draw. Ouch. Flooded Strand, and they're just not giving me an opening. Play a Besaju. Pass. Never tap out versus Brant Cook. They read the manual. Play a desert. They should probably know what we're playing at this point. They play a dress down, sure. Expressive iteration. They reveal snow covered island. All right. Draw for turn. Zeju, uh, who shelters? Oh, it's Besiju who shelters all? I don't know. Uh, I have to pass here. End step. Consider milling a Ragavan. That's a Dragon's Ridge channeler. Bobble. Ragavan. They have four cards. So like Counterspell Spell Pierce stops me here. So I'm not really like incentivized to just like jam for no reason. I'm going to go to discard. We can get rid of an Emrakul. They do not attack with the Ragavan, interesting. That's Murktide. Let's uh, make a couple one ones, I guess. They have eight in the air next turn, so I'm dead to double lightning bolt. I find the besage you, but it might have been too late. Here's one lightning bolt. At 11. They draw a card with fiery islet. Untap land. They swing for eight, and I go to three. Cannot block. And now I am forced to cast my Calibrated Blast. That is unprotected. And we lose game number one to Is It. Bummer. So we definitely want these Besajus. Board out the Gemstone Caverns. I'm not against Radiant Fountain. I think we only have room for two of those, though, so uh, let's take a couple of those out. Hit submit. Game number two, we are on the play. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to keep this, but we don't have a Besaju for the blast. It's also extremely awkward that uh, we have these deserts, but I want to play the Scion, but if I fetch for the uh the tri lands they don't make red for the blast they play an island pass the turn we draw shadow consider they kept the card off of consider the events tapped grab stomping ground i guess Draw. Pass the turn. Land number three. Yeah, it's an unlicensed curse. So I could try to unstep blast in a blast, but that's just not going to be lethal. The Rose of Chaos. Okay. 
cast this. Can I pay for spell peers? And I don't think I get the retrace because it was exiled. Blood Moon's pretty huge. Play a blast. Call it them. They take 12. So they're at 5. And I now know that they don't have another one mana counter. Press of iteration. They find a consider. They play the consider. They mill a ragavan. Land, and they're passing. This time they do have counter spell mana open. Pass. I don't know if I'm going to be able to win this now. If they just leave up Counterspell mana the whole time. Now they have a 7-7 seven, seven Dragon too. Might as well play the Blast, I guess. It's not getting any better. Surprise, surprise. They have Counterspell. And then they can remove it with the Unlicensed Curse. So I have to draw the fourth Blast here. Draw. Oh my! What a rip! Lucky, lucky. Did not deserve that one. We drew a one up there to win that game. Let's bring in the caverns. Get out these radiant fountains. Wow. Game number three. Mulligan, this hand just doesn't do anything. This one's not bad. Get rid of the worm. Gemstone. Remove the mountain. They fetch. Steam vents. Ragavan. Classic opening. Pass the turn. Yeah, I'll take it. I go to 18. You get my top card. Misty Rainforest. Ledger Shredder. Fetch. The question is, do they have the Spell Pierce here? Because if they don't have Spell Pierce, I probably win this. Okay, I think I should just wait now. Pass the turn. Expressive Iteration. They find a Consider. They should have played, I mean, they can still play the Consider now and pump up that Ledger Shredder. Yeah, and that's what they're going to do. Discards on Holy Heat. They get another Treasure. Channeler. Okay. Play a Desert. Save targets at them. Auto Yield. I'm going to choose to not Pay for Force Negation here. Or play around Force Negation. I just don't think the life is worth it. Would Scion, so they're going to go to three. Pass. Bobble. They look at my top card and immediately concede. So we got that 2 3 pity trophy life, or I'm sorry, pity trophy. Pity play points back. Um, I thought this deck was fine. Uh, honestly, I don't see anything wrong with it. Like, it seems like it's a well-built deck. I don't love Throws of Chaos. I would probably get rid of these. I thought these cards were actually kind of bad. Um, I understand why you can Cascade into Calibrated Blast, but, like, I'm just not interested in playing these. I think, like, you should just mulligan well, and you won't need this effect. But um, I think the real thing in this league was I should have played better. The, uh, no excuses i could have played better and probably gone three two but this deck was a lot of fun i really mean that and uh thanks for watching i'm sorry that you had to play, watch me play like crap see ya have a great day keep storming all that good stuff hey brand cook here i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please like and subscribe but also follow the social media channels down below if you want to support this content directly, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com shop. 
And if you need a little bit of assistance with the Epic Storm to get to that next level, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com slash tutoring. Don't worry, there's more great content coming right up.